all doing well and today we'll start a quick look at a uh, topic this is called uh, uh, how to get a like okay let's uh, it's a preparation okay of our associate android app development certificate okay in kotlin language specifically so if you guys really want to have a as a android app developer as a carrier then it's always better to uh, do this uh, certificate okay and prepare for this so um, in this tutorial I'm gonna create a playlist of all the essential things that is necessary to prepare for uh, getting this associate Android app developer certificate okay and uh, I will make a tutorial mostly in Kotlin so let's go for that so so the important question is like uh, uh, what is the minimum requirement guys is like you need to learn the basic Android basics in Kotlin Okay, so that's a minimum requirement to get uh, this certificate. So uh, so what are the topics in which uh, you will be tested in this? Uh, uh, Google associate Android development certificate exams. Okay, so you will be tested in following topics like Android core concepts That's the fundamentals of Android and the UI the user interface the data management debugging and testing these five concepts in five these topics they will test you so what is this android core and what um, things are really essentials in this android core uh, topic so you need to understand the android system architecture the basic fundamentals uh, the APK, the Android app bundle, you know, all these uh, uh, these concepts like the building block of Android app. So what are the blocks, the building blocks, how they are built up, you know, the concepts, Android X, uh, extension functions like Android Kotlin extension functions, like what are these, uh, I sorry, extension libraries, I mean to say, uh, Android X libraries and Android uh, Kotlin X libraries. Uh, and uh, building and running your app how do you build a simple uh, hello world uh, app you know and stuff like that so showing pop-up using toast snack bar push notifications you know localization of your app background task using work manager all these are in android core concepts whereas in the user interface concept you will be tested in according to like if you have any basic idea about what is the activity life cycle you know like fragment life cycle activity activity that displays a layout you know um layout file and uh, constraint layout how do you uh, like work with the constraint layout the custom view and how do you create a custom views and how do you use it in your uh, layout file you know like while you display in uh, the layout in the activity you know how to create a custom app theme you know adding accessibility to your custom view that you have created or creating an accessible view uh, okay that means like adding accessibility to your views recycle view of course and the pacing library using the recycle view the menu navigation stuff like that drawer navigation all these are in user interface concept whereas in data management you need to know about concepts regarding room database how do you uh, use uh, dao like data access objects like data classes like you know view model and view model factory live data repository you know uh, raw files and assets how do you manage this kind of data you know uh, all these concepts that is required for managing your data like uh, using persistence of user preferences like and uh, shared preferences you know and all these concepts are in data management topics whereas in debugging they you need to know how to use the debugging tools that android studio provide us right how do you debug and fix issues actually and like um, regarding to the specific functionality functional behavior and usability of your app uh, how do you read the log cat how do you log um, a certain um, uh how do you create log messages you know how do you create log and how do you filter those log uh, messages in log cat you know all these concepts the breakpoints how do you use the breakpoints to uh, uh to inspect the particular variables you know so all these are in debugging concepts whereas in testing you need to know the fundamentals of testing uh that is creating a local unit test using john j unit and express so for you ui test and automated android test so all these fundamental concepts um you need to know all these fundamental concepts uh before um uh, prepare like giving the uh this android um uh, associate developer uh certificate exam okay so you all you need to prepare is this kind of concepts okay so anyhow in my playlist i will be uh, 
I'll be creating a video for each topic so you can follow that and um, and yeah and uh, best of luck for you for you preparing your uh, Google uh, Android associate developer uh, certificate right and then uh, so there are some few frequently asked questions um, about this uh, about getting this certificate about uh, getting this certificate is like how, how much does it cost right so it costs like 149 US dollar and you can you just do one attempt okay uh, like um, this one attempt cost 149 US dollar okay and uh, yeah local buy, um, pricing may vary according to the original country and how does the process work actually to get this certificate right so you have to first do the registration process obviously right and then you take the exam and submit it for the grading so there are like uh, uh, two kind of um, levels like two levels in the sense like you have to first do exam project and then there is an exit interview okay and which is only available in the English so that's the thing and like you have to be uh, over 18 years of old to uh, appear the exam okay so exam is available both in Java and Kotlin languages but I'm gonna in my tutorial I'm gonna explain you about uh, uh, in um, I will make you uh, uh, make a preparation tutorial videos in Kotlin languages so if you are trying to prepare for this uh, Android certification exam in Kotlin language then you can follow follow me and you can also take your exam yeah so after you register it's not like um, compulsory that you have to take the exam immediately okay you can take the exam at any time according to your con convenience time okay so you can select the date according to your convenience time so there is no uh, like uh, restriction that you have to do it immediately after uh, after the registration then you have eight hours to complete the exam okay and then you have um, if you even if you don't submit after eight hours so it will auto submit okay after eight hours has passed so that's the minimum time that's eight hours and the uh, you should record your answer for the exit interview actually so because the certificate is awarded only after you are able to complete the exit interview so actually you will be awarded a digital badge and the result will arrive within 45 days after submission so uh, these are this is the the simple schema of the process how this certification process work okay how, and how long is the certification is valid is valid for 36 months after uh, that you can renew you and uh, to renew you have to redo all this process right so that's it how it works and there are what are the conditions for retaking the exams okay in case you fail okay so in case you fail the uh, fail the exams you can um, wait for the uh, yeah in case you fail the first attempt you can wait 14 days and take and take the second attempt okay and in, in case you uh, also fail the second attempt then you have to wait two months before you take the uh, third attempt and in case you also fail the third attempt you have to wait one year before taking the exam again so it's this is uh, the um, the scenario how it uh, works in the case you fail the exams hope you will not fail the exam if you will follow the tutorials you are obviously gonna pass the exams if you know all these kind of topics so this is a general schema or a general um, uh, overview of how you should prepare how should uh, what you should study and how you should prepare and how do you make up your mind right of um, if you are really preparing for a uh, associate android app uh, developer certificate okay in kotlin uh, yeah if you are um, are really interested in having a, a career in android app development then obviously i, I recommend to do this uh, certification and uh, uh yeah i'm gonna wrap up everything right now and catch you later guys and thank you for watching and see you next time